to show you the best cover four drop beater in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I upload new Madden videos every single day to help you become a better player. Also, if you want to get my entire gun bunch offensive guide, I actually wrote a guide this year that is entirely gun bunch. So it's not just Seattle's bunch, it's Seattle's bunch, Washington's bunch, Carolina bunch, every single bunch in the game that is worth breaking down, I break down in this ebook for you. So if you want to get the full gun bunch offense, I'm going to put a link to that guide in the description of the video. Also, if you want to get my bunch and my bunch tied in offense, I want to talk just briefly about my Patreon. My Patreon is the best way that you can support me as a creator. For just $10 a month, you're going to unlock every single guide that I've released. So far, we've released 10 guides, 7 defensive guides, and 3 offensive guides so far this year. And we've got a ton more stuff planned for you guys. So if you want to get unlimited access to every ebook that I've released, for just $10 a month, you can support me on Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that in the description of the video. I would really, really encourage you to check that out. I think it's going to give you the best bang for your buck. Okay, guys, now we're going to talk about the play Clear Out SE Out. Clear Out SE Out is my favorite play out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook because it literally can bomb pretty much every coverage. There's one coverage that it can't, and that is the cover four drop. At least it can't to the short side. So what I'm going to show you real quick is a cover two bomb, and then we're going to talk about cover four drop. The reason this play is so good is because if I run cover two, all I have to do is put R1 on a corner route, and I'm just going to pass lead this to the right, and as you're going to see, I'm going to get picked because I have been having terrible luck uh, today when I'm trying to record this video, but let me show you one more time. So again, um, we're just going to put him on a corner route, and what you're going to see here is once that safety turns his hips to the inside, you're just going to throw up an outside pass lead. That's how we catch it. And as you can see, it's a big play against cover two. Most of the time, it's a touchdown. Okay, the Bills receivers are slow, but most of the time, it's a touchdown. That's why it's so good. So what people are going to start doing is anyone that knows anything, they're either going to man this guy up or they're going to play cover four drop. Now, if they play cover four drop, what you're going to see here is if I try to just force feed that, I can aggressive catch that, and, you know, about five out of ten times I'll catch that. If you have a deep out elite, you'll catch it a lot more. But – um, you see right there, it's, it's like not, it's not wide open like it was. So what I like to do is when I know that someone is basically running a lot of cover four drop and they're forced to run a lot of cover four drop, please notice that we are on the short side of the field right here. Okay. What the, one of the best things about gun bunch, especially, and again, even if they pass the defensive adjustments, it's still a really good feature of gun bunch is you can flip the play really, really, really fast. Okay. So what I like to do and the routes will basically stay there. So what I like to do is come out, I'll put R1 on a streak, I'll flip the play, I'll smart route square, and then I'll just snap the ball. And what you're going to see is if I'm playing cover four drop, this outside fade, if I pass lead that to the left and I got a good quarterback, I can get that right there, that rack catch ability, which is really, really good. So again, just streak R1, flip the play, you'll see his streak stays there, and then now you'll see this right here, and the snap of the ball, you're going to see, pass lead that to the left. You got a good gunslinger quarterback. Nine times out of ten, you're going to catch that and be able to rack it upfield for even more yardage. So, again, I'm going to show you one more time. Um, another little thing that you can do that will help this play is if you put that running back on an angle route or an in route, um, that will just help kind of hold that safety a little bit. But as you can see right here, a 41 is just killing me. But uh, let me show you one more time. The beauty of this, and again, it is a little bit of timing thing. Um, it is a little bit of a timing thing. The sheds and practice mode are insane, so I'm going to spy everybody. But what you'll see here is he's going to continue to get more space to that sideline. And there you go. That's what I'm kind of talking about. As you can see, um, the cover four drop is not really good whenever you couple it with like those adjustments. So, again, um, if you think about how people are going to adjust when you flip their play, they have to flip their play. They can't audible to another coverage. So if they're in cover four drop, they're basically screwed. They're basically screwed. That's literally how simple it is. Okay. Because if they play cover four drop, because literally, what you, if you got to think about it, I'm flipping, okay, so I'm going to flip. Now they flip. I'm already set up. I don't have to do anything else. Literally just smart route that route, which is, is really, really easy in this year's game. And then you just simply hard outside pass lead. And as you can see, we're killing the cover four drop. That's the beauty of Gun Bunch, in my opinion. So if you want to learn the rest of my Gun Bunch guide, I would really encourage you to do that. Again, just for a quick second, I just want to show you, run through a couple coverages. Uh, cover three, it's a one-play score to the right. You're going to see here every single time, um, you know, he's going to get wide open. Obviously, you know, I got instant shedded, and they only sent three. 
but you see what I'm talking about. I mean, it's wide open every time. They're never going to be able to stop this play in cover three. Okay, they really aren't. You're going to get this fade over the top every time. The last patch absolutely uh, just completely obliterated cover three. Okay, and I don't know if there's a way that they can even fix it. Now, the second coverage that we showed uh, we showed that earlier was the cover two. Now, what about cover three with deep hats? Cover three with deep hats, honestly, is probably the best chance they're going to have. But what you'll see here is he's going to kind of go to the inside. I had terrible anime, or a, a terrible uh, pass lead right there. But what you're going to see is this guy. We break this more down in a little bit more detail in the bunch guide. But what you'll see here is this guy will turn his hips inside. See how he goes inside? Pass lead outside there. And then you got a chance for that nice little aggressive catch. We show you in the guide how to do that where you don't have to worry about the corner as much. And you're going to be able to get it a little bit more open than what I just did. So... Cover two, dead. Cover three, dead. The only thing they can go to, uh, match coverage, by the way. So if they want to run match, this is cover four, show two out of the three, three, five wide. If they run around, if they want to run uh, match coverage, you should be able to hit this guy. Um, this safety's playing, these safeties for New England, man, I'll tell you what, they're playing like crazy. Um, so if you want to play some defense and rags, grab New England. Um, but anyway, the bottom line is, you know, typically. Uh, this fade on the right side will be able to beat this coverage. I'm getting really weird animations, honestly. Um, the the New England, I don't know. I think it has to do honestly with the way their secondary plays, um, just with the fact that the of their ratings. But they're just playing kind of weird. They're not doing what I normally get. That right there is kind of what I normally get. And normally I get a lot more separation than I'm getting in this video. So I think part of it is because New England's secondary is so fast. Um, that it, it, it makes it more difficult. But again, another thing that a lot of people like to do against or when they're running match is they'll put this safety on the right side in a deep half. So it basically turns us into essentially cover two. Uh, I don't know why Gilmore is staying on that route. It makes zero sense because normally he's going to come down to the to the corner route. Um, but for whatever reason, I don't know, DBA, whatever you want to call it, I've ran this play too much in practice mode. But normally Gilmore is going to sit he's going to come down and then you can just throw this over the top you'll see here if i run it a couple times i'm sure it will happen i guess i'm not getting it right here but but just trust me um, i've done other videos on it where we show you how to beat it so the bottom line is you're forcing the defense to have to go to cover four drop right that's the reality so then they have to go to cover four drop they can't audible they can't adjust right because they have to flip their play and then they have to change their play so you catch them in this quick snap and it's, you know, again, you get instant shed and send in three, classic uh, practice mode, but you see what I'm talking about. They just can't adjust in time. They just can't adjust in time. And, and that's, that's what makes us so good. Um, again, you know, you have other reads, you have other plays in bunch. They're going to have to respect all those other plays. But this play right here, by far, uh, in my opinion, the best play in bunch. If you do that little swerve on that catch, you're going to get that little animation probably 95% of the time. Um, so, and this gets a lot more open in, in, in mutt because your, your receivers are faster. Like I said, the Bills receivers are notoriously slow. So that's kind of causing a little bit of a problem for me in this video. But hopefully you see the bottom line is we're able to beat cover four. We're pretty much able to beat every other coverage. Again, and I, in the ebook, we show you how to do that, do all that in a little bit more detail. So if you want to get the ebook, link in the description. Also, if you want to get my Patreon, I would really encourage you to do that because you get unlimited access to everything. Just 10 bucks a month, you get access to everything. You already have 10 ebooks waiting for you over there, seven on defense, three on offense, and then we're going to continue to add more as the season goes on. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Links to both my Patreon and my ebook are in the description for you.